Virgo, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed, and I have another intuitive message for you today. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. So the energy off the back of getting someone or a group of people wants to apologize to you. Okay. You're starting off strong with the Empress, clarified by the Three of Wands. So... I feel like you made a life for yourself elsewhere. Your ship is like the grass is greener on the on the other side. The grass is the grass was greener over there for you. I don't need my feathers. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who once was married. Okay. And you did not it wasn't the best experience to you and now I feel like that person amongst people who hold like great significance in your life wants to apologize okay because their karma started when you decided to take that love back from them and put that love back into yourself because you got the tower the ten of cups the five of swords is in reverse someone instead of trying to defeat you they need to apologize and i feel like it's going to be a public one with the queen of cups because you have respect and then and i split the deck i all i did was split the deck you got the five of wands on one side the five of cups on the other side and even in this one i just split the deck so six of pentacles in reverse and the five of pentacles so fives is very significant it's a massive change i feel like it's a what goes around comes around type of change for the other person and i also feel like with the six of pentacles in reverse that is unrequited it's unrequited you may not you may not accept this person's apology you may not and I feel like this speaks to a Virgo females. It could very easily speak to a man too, Virgo men too, but I think the Virgo female is what this one caters to. Because let's put this right here. Am I focusing more on what life looks like? More than what it feels like. See, it didn't feel right. It felt like tumultuous with all these fives here. You got every damn five here. If you dig. And now that I like that the five of swords is in reverse now it's like the jokes on April Fool's the jokes on you because the tower is your happiness slash that's what you get it's like the ocean closed in on those on the group of people that was kumbaya about your misery or doing everything they can in their life to make you miserable So I feel like I feel, I feel like people thought they scared you away in a lot of ways because what are those things that make you feel good when you're doing them? It's your pursuit of happiness is what I feel like what you do that feels good to you or what you do with your every, in your everyday life while people think they scared you off somewhere. That's why you're coming up as the emperor. So you could have created something that is a milestone that's going to create more milestones in retrospect like you could even make the paper you could be in a newspaper you could have articles coming out with the three of wands that's business too wands represent business as well as passion and spiritual being more spiritual or being connected with the spiritual side of like religion because that talks about virtuous being virtuous and i think that's the reputation you have is for being a virtuous integral person I just feel like you show a lot of kindness. And I also feel like you travel. You could travel for work. Doing what you love. What is that? I just feel like you could be a life coach or something. But you got soul sisters. Two hearts, one soul sisterhood. You could have met some real awesome people along the way. Hold on. So when the Soul Sisters card show up in a reading, number 38 could be significant. You could be 38 years old or you could be a life path 11, which would be like a master number 11. Or you could be seeing 11 around, but you're being emotionally and psychologically influenced by the people around you more than you realize. Sometimes this is a good, sometimes this is good. Like they uplift and inspire you and help you feel loved and loving. However, sometimes you can sense that 
being truly yourself in a situation could result in unwanted conflict like and you undermine yourself to keep the peace and you'll find that the moment you stop doing this some difficulties you've been having in forward movement will fall away so almost as if by magic like the relationships worth holding on to can handle a little more truth even if feathers get ruffled before smoothing over with love okay you gotta tell the truth even when it's, when it's against yourself so if you're not happy i feel like you used to be the person that's like truly empathic you could be real receptive to a lot of different people's energy naturally if you're emotionally and psychologically influenced so people could have been taking advantage of your nurturing kind loving nature and you set boundaries or someone could have been turning it up a notch being extra toxic because you making bigger moves for yourself so they're trying to like emotionally cripple and stay with you by any means necessary and you end up surpassing them anyway because you can move forward with love versus someone moving forward with low vibration expression of love which is trying to be toxic so the spiritual guidance is some relationships nourish your soul while others damage it and a nourishing relationship has an effect on your soul so just like nourishing food does on your body it makes you feel good increase your energy to live your life and enhance your well-being healthy relationships for your soul are those that uplift inspire and help you become more of yourself with fearlessness they do not drag your spirit down into anxiety and confusion i feel like someone was an energy vampire towards you virgo or you were to somebody but some people may love you but just know that they just not they don't know how to be in a relationship with you that is healthy for your soul you think what i'm saying so with such people you either need to show them how to be in your life in a soul loving way or take extra special care of yourself when you're around them or just don't be around them you know sometimes this will not be enough to protect you from a negative influence of a relationship and then you'll need to walk away just don't have them around you this could be sad yet it also creates space for your soulmates to enter your life They are the people with whom you share like a real deep and real connection. Like your love, you love each other in a way that frees you to be yourself. We attract new soulmates into our world by being good to ourselves. Be your own best friend first. Require respect in your relationships. A lot of people think because they love someone that they confuse that with respect. Respect is earned. Love is a choice, not a disease. It's like that in, 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 in instances like that, you're, it, you'll find it easier to spot or recognize the people who genuinely love you and invite them into your heart. So, somebody is your best friend, right, wrong, or indifferent, no matter what y'all go through. Or you're meeting someone that's going to have that impact on you. And then when you meet that new person, that other person you used to fight with is going to realize, shit, that was my person and the karmic will did not turn in my favor. And this person loved me with everything that they had. I didn't see it that way. your happiness is everything and it's starting to show and people are starting to recognize you or recognize the blessing bestowed upon you because you remain patient and dignified i heard patient and dignified um it's like your ace of cups people are watching you experience a euphoria of an ace of cups because they were impatient and they were impulsive towards you okay they did not believe in you they did not reciprocate or you know return the respect or love for that matter for those it resonates with like that with three of wands is a reverse in this deck huh. somebody wanted to be fake with you too fake a sisterhood for success to escape um, a, a real crazy situation because this is miserable with the five of wands the five of cups five of cups is depressing and miserable 
it's like a cold wet day and your clothes are dampened and it's colder it's miserable like that like there's no warm-up no love nobody wants to hug you nobody wants to talk to you you start to feel abandoned and then you got the five of pentacles here too and that six of pentacles is in reverse like five of wands people talking bad about it like you see such and such they looking bad now it's that kind of vibe right now where people are like they may not be saying it out loud to the person but they're talking about them gossiping about them with this five of wands like like they don't look good they look like what they try to put you through and that's the reality that's not like tell me more about the five of, of swords which is right under the six of pentacles in reverse because you're not the one feeling that way. You don't reciprocate that that manic depressant energy. Two of cups in reverse flipped over and the seven of cups. Yeah, the rose colored glasses are off or they just got reality slapped the fuck out of them to the point where they're not so good. They're not acting delusional and goofy no more because seven of cups can be goofy. You know, playing in people's face. Well, you realize when people are being goofy with you, try to deflect it on you like something's off about you and it's really fucking them. Losing. They losing. Because you showed up as the Empress, clarified by the Three of Wands. They are the Three of Wands in reverse. And that's a tower. Because they just was they was too i don't know what the fuck they i say goofy they were too oblivious to see it like they were this is dishing soliloquies in people's face like do you know what it means to to, to dish a soliloquy is to talk about somebody while pretending to be oblivious that they're standing right there like people really tried to play in your face with this seven of cups and this seven of cups in the upright two of cups is in reverse like you should have slapped you probably you should have slapped the fuck out of somebody or is that type of energy that make you want to and I feel like they're talking to your back now. They're screaming at your back now because your back is turned with the three of wands. Okay? When you live in abundantly. I feel like somebody wanted to come down on was spiritually abusive towards you. And now they're reaping the benefits of what they wanted you to feel like. Or they could be in hiding too. What is this? Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody who was impulsive that could correlate with that three of wands I saw in there Jack. someone was impulsive or was just driven by some form of an entity and had them looking crazy out here and it exposed them for I don't know if it exposed them or just made them realize something about themselves or just it exposed them by way of them showing their characteristic traits publicly. Either way, this person feels publicly humiliated or it's going to feel humiliated and miserable. Somebody's really just freaking miserable. What is this? The Page of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who is like a single white female, like a fatal attraction. Page of Swords is a stalker. But Page of Swords is also trying to get out of uh, an agreement. Get out of making a, an agreement. Like, they don't want, their word is not bond. Okay? Because this is not doing the research. This is a know-it-all. And they impulsively come off like that. They move forward. And, it's somebody who's fucking ignorant <laughs> with the Page of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands. And these are the motherfuckers that's trying to play in your face. Like, y'all sisters and y'all not. Or like, y'all close enough and you're not. And now they're the ones sitting there going through what they wanted you to feel like. Two of Pentacles. This could be somebody trying to get something off the ground and they don't have the means or they're struggling to keep it afloat. To get to some sense of stability. Why is the two of pentacles here? Four of wands. Yeah. This could be somebody balancing school and work. 
the balance in the home life and business okay I feel like this is somebody's alibi not even an alibi it's that's deflection what I want to say is this is a balance of stability this could be somebody friendship turn relationship I see a biracial couple they were friends turned into a relationship somebody has more sex now within their biracial relationship and they're more they feel more passion and they feel more love now in their biracial relationship than they did with their own when they stayed within their own cultural group that's for somebody it's fresh it's like white linens on a summer day like those Thai commercials or something like that where they draw you in with the summer and the flowers and the hanging the sheets outside or down there or something like that like it's that visual it feel like that in somebody's relationship in a new relationship or you're going to get into a relationship and it's going to feel fresh like a summer day with fresh linens and you know what I'm saying it's gonna smell it's gonna feel like a downy commercial Okay, now this is the Five of Wands coming out in reverse now. This is somebody who turned scared. They scared the bug up against you now because they looking like how they wanted you to feel. And the Wheel of Fortune is right behind it. And that's also in reverse. So this is somebody is experiencing a lot of misfortune. They're not very respected right now. They want to... They don't have a way to let bygones be bygones. With you, they don't have a way to make peace with you. They try not to, somebody put the wand down. They stop impulsively trying to come at you. Something like trembling, like earth shattering happened to this person where it shook them out of that delusion of thinking they should be attacking you in the first place. So this is somebody who could have lost a loved one or Someone could have graduated to the next phase of life. You know what I'm saying? With the two two of pentacles, it could have been like an uphill battle. It's like some days are better than others. And they finally graduated to the next phase of life. And it's making somebody, it's humbling somebody with, with the five of wands in reverse. And the will of fortune, because they feel like it's a dark cloud over them now. Like they feel, they feel God's wrath or feel a punishment. Oh, you who arrange for you, set the ladies to lamb. Arrange my affairs for me. Fix my condition. What is it? Fix my condition and provide for me, O oh Lord, and protect me from the evil of your creation. O oh Lord, fulfill my need, relieve my distress, and relieve my anxiety. O oh Lord, I mean, this is what some I can somebody like somebody's nerves is like intensified right now. Like they're scared. And it reminds me of that clip from Erica Alexander. She was on a breakfast club one time and she was talking about her grandmother um, practicing voodoo, practicing witchcraft. And she she had a store on one corner and her competitors had a store in the other corner and they used to put dust around the door. Like she used to practice a lot of witchcraft to beat off the ward off, com ward off competitors and stuff like that. And one time uh, an entity got a hold of her and had her acting crazy in front of everyone. And they had to call the, the people of the church to come pray over her. And they told her, you know, they got the demon off of her. Or they got the gin off of her. And they told her, they said, you got to stop doing that shit. Or you won't come home in a box. That's the agreement. If we get this spirit off of you, in the name of God, you can't practice this type of stuff no more. Or you're going to come home in a box. She said, okay, I won't. And two weeks later, she came home in a box. So I say all that to say, this is somebody who got, who with the tower card here, now they feel like it's a dark cloud over their life because they are going through, they are currently experiencing what they wanted you to feel like, or wanted your life to be like. And why? You could be a person of reason. You could be a person who is compassionate, but you got strict boundaries up is what I can tell. You're like your back is turned to a lot of this. It's just that the better you do about it, the more you heal. There you go. Ten of Swords. With 
the four of pentacles in reverse. Hold on, give me one more for the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay. The nine of pentacles. I knew it. Like, it's something real clingy. Like, the four of pentacles in the upright, it mostly talks about possessive, being a stingy heart. But now this person is like, they can't rob Peter to pay Paul with the nine of pentacles. It's like, they, these nine of pentacles represent burdens. I feel like, and they're drowning in their debt. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is their debt. It could be financial. It could be their house falling apart. It could be their car falling apart. It could be anything like vulnerable in their life that's falling apart. Their finances falling apart. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is debt, and the Ten of Swords is like, I really need this to end. But the thing of it is. The, whatever the, the spell they did or whatever they was doing to attack you that's completed and this is the final ending like this ten of swords this ten of swords is like this ain't no damn funeral home welcome to hell you dig what I'm saying like you reap what you sow kind of thing damn so the, the ones what the five of pentacles and the five of cups is the only ones that's still in the upright that's depression poverty that's bad health that's like clinically depressed like something's like permanent because you put those two together that's still a 10 and all four fives is here so that's 10 10 it could be significant is these 10 swords is these challenges these things that are causing mental challenges heavy mental challenges being like weary in the mind and weary in the spirit weary in the body like you don't you don't have the right kind of muscles to ward off the energy coming your way and you still feel like you got hit by a damn truck or something. Like you feel winded like that. That's how that person feel. They wanted you to be beat down so bad through their hatred. And the Queen of Pentacles came out. So in this message, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is mature in what they're struggling through. This will be happening for a long time. That Queen of Pentacles is in the upright. So... This is somebody who is exp who thought they were going to be expensive at your expense with whatever it is you come to the table with your aura, which I to take from you and energy harvest from you on some some clingy shit, some interview with the vampire type shit. But this Queen of Pentacles is rather amplifying this Nine of Pentacles, which is talking about debt. This person could dress nice, but don't but don't have assets to back it up because they have too much debt and they don't have enough coming in and now they're drowning by it. So to look, just to look the part was the true intention because you obviously ain't got it like this empress. So to even half-ass look like this queen of pentacles, to even look like this queen of pentacles, let alone the empress, you barely look like that. Barely. Like what this rabbit in this queen of pentacles is like you manifested massive debt okay you could be in a low income job or this inflation could have really just sank your empire somehow some way the sun is in reverse depression it's like the great depression caused a great a massive depression in you Someone could also feel very dried out with the sun in reverse, like the expression they say being burned by the sun, but the public exposure, they could be irate and irritated and just feel dehydrated behind this because they were liars. This Knight of Pentacles is going to be, you're meant to, it's meant to penetrate the people wish, who wish bad on you, Virgo, or you did this to them. It's meant for you to feel it, like slow and slow and steady wins the race. So the, the passion and the in-depth and the effort, the, sh the massive work ethic that they put in to make your life feel like hell, miserable, daunting, draining, you dig? Like a cold winter day with wet clothes on, that's fucking miserable, okay? That's exactly how they feel for days and years to come with this Knight of Pentacles. And business is too slow to get them out of debt. 
The two of swords is in reverse. Like that. No, they're not even going to fake being confused about it. They're not in two minds about it because they know what they did. This is a, this could be a sister who turned on another sister, and they're feeling it. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles is like this. Look, this person could be hiding that they truly struggle like this. With how I just explained it with these fives. Okay. A lot of envy, a lot of jealousy, a lot of gossip they partook in. They could have been a mastermind for a lot of this shit, and now it's, it, it came back on them. And your the sister could be the Empress. Okay. A leader of some kind of community or some kind of organization. I see nonprofit organization with the three of wands. Like people are gradually like it's good news in a neighborhood, in your neighborhood. You can have a waterfront property or going to invest in a waterfront property or you could live near a lot of water. But, uh, this empress is in reverse yes one was disloyal and one is loyal okay so this one has the reputation of being a, a crappy parent or just a negligent parent or just unable to I really feel like in this essence they cannot produce the results that you do being the empress in the upright and the three of wands in the upright but remind you the three of wands was in reverse for them and now the empress is in reverse for them they they tried to do duplicate what whatever it is they think that you do and it didn't work with the empress in reverse so they pretend to look the part with the queen of pentacles you see how this queen of pentacles look real nice on this picture but she don't have the assets to back it up meanwhile the other one the one that the, the one who was victimized not a victim but victimized they were patient they let the storm pass and they waited for their ships to come in because they know they planted good seeds for themselves in the face of the storm in the face of chaos in the face of people constantly bucking up against them or bucking up against you So your rollout look way better than their rollout because you put the work in with the king of wands this could be a female and they are magnetic and a go-getter like the king of wands somebody who works well in their masculine energy and they're very good looking but they're very like spiritually connected to the business results that they produce hence the empress and the three of wands and the uprights okay they are strong manifestors, but they're also shrewd in business. So business is booming for this empress in the upright. I feel like these messages are kind of split. Six of Swords. With the Six of Swords, I just feel like someone wants to move closer to you now that they have fallen ill or fallen sick and i feel like in the goodness of your heart and a loyalty because king of wands are loyal okay i feel like in your, all your loyalty you're not going to turn your back on them you're going to help them because you are a traditional like a person who values family family matters with the king of swords so you're going to be concise and you're going to this is somebody who's a warrior this is somebody who picks and chooses their battles wisely or strategic this is somebody who practiced the art of war so you move in silence with the six of swords between the king of wands and the king of swords like you balance logic with what you're passionate about and you're knowledgeable i feel like you're more successful for it and that three of wands means your ships are coming in Seven of Swords. I said you move in silence. That's strategy. Strategy and wit. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. When it doesn't mean robbing, stealing, and killing. <laughs> but the Knight of Swords is my witty card. It's my Gemini card. That is witty and common sense. So 
You have a slick, you have a wordplay, a, sick, a sl uh, slick wordplay. Maybe you have a sales funnel or some kind of pitch or something. Or maybe people like you for that. And the star, yeah. I feel like you operate. Okay. The Emperor came out and the Four of Cups in reverse came out. When it's in an upright, it's apathetic. You could have an uh, ex spouse that is not over you. They're not, um, they're not even upset about the breakup or something like that. Someone could, or you could have pulled somebody out of being bored and apathetic and just over love or just over it. They're not over it. I think the second somebody made that decision, they quickly changed their mind about being over it as it pertains to you being the star and the knight of swords, which means you're catchy, it's hyper intelligent, and then you got the ten of pentacles. And on the bottom is I saved this card, it's an introductory card for this deck, but you are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities through this deck or through this experience, is what I like to say. May you find a path to your best self, and that ten of, it goes with that ten of pentacles. So you can combine wealth with this person, this emperor, okay? Okay. You're going to end up married to this person. Because you were patient. Good things come to those who are patient. And maybe that's where the two sister vibes come in. The, the sisterhood comes in or something like that. Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time.